So, there are no forests. Now, when you hear that phrase, you're like, what? No, there's, there are forests. I see them all the time. I saw Robin Hood. And there are forests, obviously. But what we think are forests aren't forests. They're bushes. There's just a bunch of bushes in a confined area, like a hedge maze. So when you go to, like, Yellowstone, it's just bushes everywhere. And you go to... What's another famous forest? Or you go back to Yellowstone. You go there again, it's just bushes everywhere. The real trees have all been cut down. And you've seen these trees. They're called mountains. So what this theory is, is that trees, the mountains, <laughs> the mountains that we see used to be giant trees. And if the mountain is like craggly, it's because the tree fell over. And I can show you a photo of a tree that fell over with a craggly stump. And then I can show you a picture of a mountain that's all jagged and they look exactly the same. So then you go, Jason, that doesn't make sense. And I go, well, I didn't finish showing you photos on a podcast yet. Mesas, plateaus, those are trees that have been cut down. Did you know that? Those are trees that have been cut down. Because I can show you a picture of a stump <laughs> of a tree that's been cut down. And then I can show you a picture of a mesa. I go, hey, look at it. It looks the same, doesn't it? These two things that are made of completely different materials, completely different sizes, guess what? They, these pictures look the same. And then you go, Jason, that's, that's quite clever. You're right. You've shown me now four photos, and I'm quite convinced. However, what about volcanoes? Hmm? I've never seen a tree with hot lava in it, and I go, mm, wait, hold on. Volcanoes? The hot lava is nuclear waste, and it's, uh, it's a chemical waste that's burning in it, and they basically just put waste in the trees slash mountains. And then you go, whoa, 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 who's they? And I look at you, and I go, the giants, of course. So what this theory is, it's an offshoot of Flat Earth. But it's actually gaining steam among other conspiracy theorists. Is that mountains and mesas and all that stuff used to be giant trees that went 10, 20 miles up into the sky. And we could calculate it, they would go that high because of the size of the base. And what we're seeing basically to the giants of the old world, that our forest, our puny little homo sapien forest, would look like just little bushes or weeds compared to these 10 mile high trees. The giants who used to live here not only cut down the giant trees and used the wood to do giant stuff, I guess, but they also, all of the gorges of the world or quarries. Impact sites of meteors? Nope. Quarries. That was actually giants digging stuff out of the ground. Did you know that if you look up at the map of the Earth... That all the deserts, all the main deserts of the planet, are in a line. And that's not because the way that the equator goes around and the temperature differential and certain... No, 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 no. It's because that is where the giants threw all their sand from digging. I'm, I'm not making... Well, I'm not making this up. Somebody did. This is a really... Fast-growing conspiracy theory. So deserts are where the giants, like, they dug up a quarry, they dug up the Grand Canyon, and then hauled the dirt to the Sahara. It's ridiculous. And I also, my push, well, there's a thousand pushbacks on this, but why is it that it seems that every gorge has a river running through it? It's not because the river cut the gorge. It's because the giants did. Now, what's weird about this theory other than the fact that people are trying to claim that there are no forests, is that, you know, I've talked to a couple of people about this one. I'll run into people and they'll say, what are you working on for your next episode? And I'll say, there are no forests. Trees used to be giant, and I go into the whole spiel I just went into. And I've had more than a few people go, hmm, 
I'm like, what do you mean? Like, hmm. They're like, it's a very comforting thought. It's like, what? Because, you know, I approach this stuff, like I said, I'll, 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 as I'm reading it, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to go into the mindset of someone who believes this. And then I start to shred it apart. But when you throw out conspiracy theories to people who don't normally talk about conspiracy theories, they can have a wide range of reactions. Oh, and I want to say right now, this story comes, I've heard about this conspiracy before, but the idea for doing this as a story comes from Matthew, from Gmail. So uh, Matthew sent me an email saying, hey, you know, I saw this on 4chan, why don't you cover this? And so I appreciate that. I always appreciate people throwing out story ideas. Jeff was also a recommended story. So thanks, Matthew. Um, I talked to a couple of people and they were like, Hmm. And I read an article, and it was interesting, as I was doing my research, this article was saying, it was talking about it in conjunction with Flat Earth, they said there is something comforting. There is something comforting to know that the world was once more lush and vibrant and beautiful than it is today. That nature was so out of control that trees could grow to touch the night sky. And we're living on the husk. We're living on a planet that's a husk. And when we look around and we see wildlife being taken away and housing developments go up. And and I think that's why this has taken hold. The first real... This is a fairly, fairly recent conspiracy theory. It, it started with a YouTube video from like Crimea. That's really where it kind of took off. And then an English translation of the video came out. And since then, it's really taken off. Now, yeah, 2016 is when this conspiracy theory took off. So it was about two years ago. So this video came out, and it basically was a video showing a stump of a tree and a mesa and saying, name ten differences. You can't. You can only name two. Material composition and size. Look at these hexagons. This can't be done by anything other than a tree. This Look at this. And the thing is, it's the same thing with Flat Earth, where they'll throw out... Like, I'm watching the video, and they're like, look at how this stone is like a hexagon. This is impossible any way other than a tree. Now, I don't know a lot about how trees grow or how rocks form. So, if I didn't... If I One, if I was already suspicious of the scientific community, or two, I really didn't care, I would watch that and go, whoa, yeah, he's right. That is how only trees can look like that. But when you look into the science of it, they'll go, no, you know, it has to do with like this type of flow and this type of composition of rock and the weathering and blah, 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 blah. They've done hundreds and hundreds of years of research on why these rocks form the way they form. But to know that, I'm going to have to go and Google a bunch of stuff. Or I could just watch this video and you just throw out fact after fact after fact after fact and it wears you down. Sometimes the, the knowledge barrier between the layman and the scientists does get a little impenetrable, so you bounce back. You hear the conspiracy theory, you try to research it scientifically, you don't really get it, and then you jump back down to the conspiracy theory. I think that's why stuff like these things really take hold. Also, it is something that you can look at something and go, I don't see a horizon on the planet. People are telling me there is a curve, but I don't see it at all. So any information I get is going to be based on my physical senses. I can look at this photo of a mesa and look at this photo of a tree, and they look the same. And I know trees can get petrified and turned into rock. Using my knowledge of science, I can make that comparison. And the weirdest thing is, the people who say there are no forests say, oh no, there are regular mountains too. Just some of the mountains were giant trees. What? So how do I know which ones? Because see, some of them just peek out. They not they don't look like broken, jagged mountain ranges. It's just a giant mountain. And they go, no, no, Mount Everest is real. But this other mountain used to be a tree. We'll see what type of traction this conspiracy gets. I honestly think it's going to take off. I think it's going to get really, really big. Because I think people find it very charming to think we live in a a planet that is not living up to its full potential. I was reading an article there actually saying that a lot of old myths are based around the idea of, uh, you know, Tiamat, who we talked about during anti-cosmic Satanism, but the, I think he's from Babylonian mythology. He died and our world is based on his guts. Like our world is created from his death. And they were talking about other creation myths where something had to be destroyed for the world to become what it is. And they're saying that that's another reason why this idea 
is so attractive because we're living in this world that is simply a ghost of the power it used to be. I think it's going to take off. I think flat earth is is fairly easy to debunk because you can just be like put a GoPro on a on a balloon or whatever and they go no the GoPro lens it's fish fish eyed fish eyed but you can say and people go well no of course I'm a globe because I took a plane from here to there. However, I did see a mesa once and it looked like a tree stump. I, I think that the I think that this may overcome flat earth as far as like the most popular dumb conspiracy theory. Because it has a natural attraction, the visual evidence is there, and the scientific language to explain how, I mean, you can explain how gorges are formed, but then people are like, well, what about this, and what about, it's like with 9-11, you, they're never happy, you explain one thing, they're like, what about this, what about this, what about this? Eventually, scientists go, well, you know, we have a theory about that, and people go, a theory? That means it's not true. I believe that giants mind that gorge, and the scientist just walks away. Well, how do these hexagons grow on this plateau? Well, it went like this, went like this, went like this, and then we have a theory. Theory, pff, it used to be a tree. I, I Yeah. So get ready for a whole slew of books, and videos, all sorts of stuff on this thing. Trees are bushes. Mountains are trees. And the desert was dirt from all the quarries of the world. It, do, it does have a nice magical ring to it. Middle Earth, Pandora, these worlds of just like unbridled nature. But we have to accept it's not true, as much as it sounds nice, because that's just, it's foolish. It really is foolish. A mountain is not and never was a tree. That was a clip from our daily podcast, Dead Rabbit Radio. Dead Rabbit Radio is available anywhere that you listen to podcasts. It's daily paranormal, conspiracy, and true crime news. If you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check the link below. Please like and subscribe. And hit that little bell, too. That does some magical stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.